obviously I'm very proud uh, of those guys in the locker room. Uh, we, we didn't we didn't have it tonight, and you can point to a lot of reasons why. Uh, obviously Saturday was very emotional, and there's a lot that goes into to senior day. Uh, and you know it, it was probably midnight by the time any of us got out of here uh, Saturday night. And if the guys were anything like like me, my heart was still pumping 100 miles an hour at four in the morning, and it's really hard to sleep after a game like that on Saturday. Um, so I, I just didn't feel <clears throat> we were as locked in. I thought we were half a step slow, really, uh, most of the game. Uh, and, you know, we ran into a couple of guys that were really hard to stop. And uh, I'm not sure, uh, uh, look at the film, but uh, I'm not sure the shots that Colt Ryan made tonight were any different than, than the shots he missed in Evansville. You know, I thought we had a hand there. Uh, we're not blessed with the greatest quickness at some of the spots, so you know we got to fight our tails off to, to try to get there and get a late hand up. Uh, but when the game was on the line, you know we scored on our last nine possessions of regulation, and you know we, we forced a, uh, a shot clock, a couple shot clock violations late uh, in regulation, and then you know those guys, Gregory gets a put back after not playing a great game, uh, gets a put back to, to tie it or to put, get us within two at 83-81, and. Uh, you know, Doug gets a big three after not, you know, he couldn't make a free throw tonight. He wasn't shooting well from the outside, but he gets a big three to get it to, uh, I believe that got it to four points. Uh, and then Gregory and Ethan fight their tails off in that last possession and just keep batting at it and tapping it, and, you know, you get the bounce of the ball and, and it goes in. So uh, Evansville played an incredible game, and that's, that's, that's one of the best individual offensive performances uh, by Colt Ryan that I've ever seen. Questions? What were you what were you trying to do against him? You know, to it seemed like he was kinda of getting the same look, you know, over and over on, on that down screen curl. We we got beat in Evansville on some slips, uh, because we got too far up on the floor with some of our help and, and we adjusted to that and, and kept maybe kept Gregory too close to the basket in hindsight it was probably a mistake. Uh, but you know, our our feeling was let's let's attempt to keep him off the free throw line. Let's limit their layups and if they're going to beat us let's make them beat us with perimeter jump shots with a hand in their face and uh, to their credit they made a lot of them, both, both Holmes uh, and Ryan and uh, you know, once you get a guy like Colt Ryan going it's really really difficult to get him stopped and uh, you know one of the better defensive plays of the game was Gregory matched up on him on a switch and he was dribbling around at 25 seconds and Gregory's looking at me like what to do and I said you better bend your knees son <laughs> get ready to move your feet and Gregory challenged a shot without following we got the rebound and uh, just you know I couldn't be prouder of this this group of guys and uh, for it to happen on senior night uh, you know four young men that have been met a great deal uh, to this program and each in their own own way uh, but have contributed in a, in a huge way to our success. Do you think that uh, you might look back on this one as one that's going to really help you come selection someday, uh, depending on how things go? Well, you know, I think everyone helps uh, this time of year. You just you, you got to try to survive. You're going to get everybody's best shot. Uh, obviously, Evansville's playing for a better seed and try to avoid that Thursday night play-in game, so they've got everything to play for. And, and uh, uh, we, we had a hard time getting the crowd into the game until – that second half, we didn't give them much reason. Late in the first half, we made a nice run, and then they scored three baskets in a row to end the half and, and, and take the lead after we went up six. Uh, but you know, it's we we've won 24 games, and we've beaten a lot of good teams, and uh, we've beaten a lot of teams away from home. And I think at, at the end of the day, as you look across the country, there aren't many teams that have done what we've done. And uh, I feel when the time is right, we'll be rewarded for that. Did, did you consider? Zoning or boxing one or triangle and two? We, we triangled and two in the first possession, second half. Okay. And uh, they had a jump shot. We went zone one possession, and, and Denver Holmes hit a three in the corner. So I was thinking the same way you were thinking. Uh, but uh, uh, we, we made one more play than they did. We were really lucky to win. That's the bottom line. And sometimes it takes a bounce of the basketball, and uh, uh, we've uh, we've really been blessed here the last couple games to get a couple bounces. You, you said you said you know earlier in the season several times that, you know, defensively you, you just don't have a lot of guys who are, you know, big on the wing, you know, that can match up with a big athletic scoring guard. And not that Ryan is huge, but uh, are you worried about that, you know, going forward? Yeah, I mean, we've won 24 games with that group, so uh, of course I'm worried about it, but I also like the fact that if we need to score, we can score. 
And I, I guess if I got to have it one way or the other, I'd rather have a team that when we need baskets, we can get a basket. And Evansville does as good a job of keeping it out of the paint, making it the touches tough for Doug and Gregory. They really had to fight for everything they got tonight. And uh, uh, you know, defensively, we we're, were not perfect. We haven't been perfect all year. And but it is it's who we are. And uh, it's kind of like our three point shooting. You can't go away from what got you here. You got to stay confident in the guys. You got to believe in them. The last thing you want is, is self doubt to creep in. Um, and it's our job as a coaching staff to make them believe that maybe they're a little bit better defenders than they really are. Two more. What is going through your mind when you're down 14 and it looks like you're stuck in the mud? Well, it looks like we're stuck in the mud. We were stuck in the mud. Uh, you know, we had guys. We had guys in foul trouble, so the options were limited. Jaiens gets his fourth. Uh, Grant gets his fourth. Um, Avery tweaked an ankle or something there, and you know, nobody's mentioned him. You know, what a game he had. You know, the way they guarded Grant, we threw Avery in there. They didn't adjust to him quick enough. He bangs two or three threes before they get back out to him. And um, our choice pivot is just to do what we do. You know, let's play a little harder. We we extended our pressure a little bit more, uh, and tried to get up in him. Uh, I thought we fought some screens finally, and we got a couple big calls on some moving screens. Uh, obviously, that we were that we were politicking for the entire night, and uh, they came at the right time. How much does that mean just to see Josh come through the way that he did there at the end? It, it means a lot because it, Josh hasn't played his best basketball the last two weeks. And when we had that tough stretch, it was really Josh and Jai Hans and Grant and Avery who had given us some punch most of the year that we lost their punch during that three-game stretch. And tonight, you know, I think Avery gets 14, uh, Josh gets 11, Jai Hans gets 12. So all of a sudden, out of that group, uh, you know, you're getting 30 plus points, and uh, it, you have to make teams pay if they're going to try to keep it out of Doug's hands and, and Greg's hands uh, the way they did. And, and it, it was just, uh, it was a strange night. Doug goes six and 13 from the free throw line. Colt Ryan goes five of eight. How often is that ever going to happen with either one of those guys? So, uh, just uh, it was a strange game, uh, an entertaining game, uh, but just really proud that we were fine, found a way to get a win.